All right, guys, GoodOldBoy32 here. Check it out. So uh, as part of our, uh, what do you call this thing? The Strike Industries uh, Build Series. A couple things we're going to be doing, and I want to do these in this video because what else is going to happen? I'm going to this build party, and uh, we're all going to be there putting stuff together, which means I either going to take the rifle back apart to show you these things individually, or, uh, you know, I do it now. So we're going to do it now. And two of the items I want to show you right now, because well, I got to wait till I get back to the house so I can run the uh, the bore scope through this thing. And I'll show you this. This is one bad mamma jamma. I want to start off by showing you this guy right here. This is the Strike, Strike Hard, Strike Fast, Strike Industries Gridlock Handguard. Okay, integrated front sight, front top rail for A2 sight conversion, spring loaded adjustable locking lever for quick, quick detach. AR-15 QD integrated front sight. And I'm looking on this thing because people have asked me where these are made from. And it doesn't say. I thought they had to tell you where it was made. So, anywho, here we go. This is the uh, complete unit, as it says right there. Complete unit. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now, well, just a full disclosure, they did send this stuff out to me for uh, review and to put this stuff together and uh, should be pretty interesting. That looks to me like a front sight tool. So we'll go ahead and set that over there. Let's pull this guy out real quickly. In the box, we're going to get what appears to be some set screws as well as some shims. And uh, what I wanted to do, just because you know from the previous video, we are going to be putting it on this Aero Precision Upper. I kind of wanted to mount it so we could see what it looks like right now today. Ooh, wrench. That's pretty cool. I like how they included that. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up real quickly and put it on that upper. But before we do that, let's just take a look at it real quick and see what we've got. Now, in the box, it comes with a, looks like a standard uh, barrel, I mean, uh, yeah, barrel nut wrench. There we go. Comes bubble wrapped. Very nice. There's our barrel nut. Now, I can tell you right away, I can tell that is aluminum. Yeah. Aluminum. I kind of, I'm a big fan of steel on the barrel nuts, 1.6 ounces. Okay, so what we'll do, because I wanna know what the overall weight of this rifle is going to be, because it's pretty much with exception of the trigger, which is going to be this guy right here. We'll do a little install review on this and see what the weight is. This is the new Timmy trigger. Not even, I don't even know what model this is. Laborious standard. Okay, so anyway, pulling that out. We're gonna open this guy up. Take a look at it. Let's go a real quick flyby. Actually, not real quick. Let's just go slow. Slow. What does that thing do? I like the way it looks. I'm a big fan. It has an integrated uh, front sight. I don't think I'll ever use that but it does have an integrated front sight. Now, with this thing, there's uh, several different muzzle devices, and one would be used, this is a 17-inch handguard, and they've got a neat muzzle device that actually sticks out, and you can use another uh, muzzle device, and it's like a, it's a, like a twist can, or like almost like the uh, Surefire Warden. But you got some really cool, looks like some Loctite screws in there. I'm thinking that that's gonna hold these pieces here. And here, those look like a pretty decent little pick rail section in the front on the lower part, so we can attach a, uh, what do you call those things? Bipod. <laughs> this is going to be an 18 inch build, so this is gonna be pretty decent. Uh, all right, so let's do this. We'll start off, first of all, by weighing the barrel nut and the handguard itself. Shoot, let that thing zero out. And this thing comes in at one pound, 1 1.6 ounces. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is not light. That's not light at all. Um, 
I've seen 18 inch hand guards go for like uh, 16 inch or uh, 16 ounce, almost a little under 16 ounces, a little under a pound. So let's do this. Let's go ahead. That's a pretty cool system. What does that do? Is that, does that lock it on there? Huh. I guess. Okay, so let's talk about the M lock uh, slots on this guy. You've got one, two, three, four, five on the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six on the angles on the side. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the sides, uh, matching there, and then top and bottom matching. Well, no, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you got a QD attachment point here. I, I'm assuming I'm gonna get my sling out, take a look at that. But let's do this. Uh, I wanna show you what's going on here as well. And like I said, we'll take this thing out. Before we shoot it, I will run the bore scope through it so you can see exactly what the inside of this barrel looks like. But I'm gonna tell you something, as far as barrels go, uh, this is an 18 inch. This thing is one and eight twist. It's cold hammer forge. And that's not all, folks. I want to show you this. It is fluted for your protection. Look at that thing. That is stunning. And it's chambered in 223 Wild. 1 and 8 twist, cold hammer forged. Now, the weight on this guy, let's see here. Two pounds, 3.8 ounces. Uh, I would like to compare it to a couple other barrels. I've got a, a Ballistic Advantage barrel, 20 inch fluted at the house. It's getting ready to go on another build. Uh, but I will tell you this, man, this, this is the fit and finish on this thing, the anodizing or whatever they've got this thing covered with is absolutely, it's beautiful. And of course, we're gonna go with uh, the Strike Industries comp. And then, uh, no. Not much of a crown cut on the end of it, but we'll see. So um, let's do this real quickly. Let's have a little fun. Let's let's do a little mock up and uh, see how this is going to work. Again, uh, you're supposed to scan the uh, little barcode on the side for instructions, but you know me, <laughs> I don't know anything about instructions. So we're gonna go ahead. Let's see how the barrel fits in here. Ah, I'm digging that. It is tight. So there's no wobble, no wiggle around in there. Hold on one second. Yeah, when you get a barrel, all you got to do is woggle it like that. Now, barrel nut, and we're just going to snug this thing up to it and see how it rolls. And we're probably going to have to do some shamming, it appears, but I'm not sure. So let's just... Uh, Oh, you know what? I guess this thing here has to be out. <laughs> and I guess you just pop that in. And that's it. Uh, okay. That's That that makes for one bad mamma jamma. Look at that thing. Look at the lines, especially with that air of precision. And then you take the, uh, the little tightening screws right here and then you're going to screw them in right there and that's going to make it perfect but look at that but all you got to do to take it off guys that is ingenious look at that that's cool as it could be i was not expecting that at all so I'm very excited about putting this thing together. And again, it's that's that's going to be one amazing build. All right. Well, guys, that's it. Uh, I think uh, I'm in love with it. And I, I tell you what, I've actually just finished ordering a complete upper set for another build that I've got going on. Uh, but the cool thing is that front. Now, see. All right. So here's one of my pet peeves. The rear, the upper receiver being in perfect alignment with that pick rail right there. And one of the things that I will do, because I have granite countertops at home, is I'll lay it flat. 
And that one's pretty good. It's about a 30 second uh, space between, it's very minimal space between the uh, this area right here uh, and here. So which means that there's a little bit of upshift in it, but that's not, that's not bad at all. Once you get the thing tightened up, guys, it's gonna be amazing. All right, well, that's it. Uh, guy, uh, nah, nah, well, we know like this. <laughs> hey guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, remember, you can pick stuff up at uh, the guys over there at Optics Planet with the, the uh, discount code KB32TAC. And uh, man, I am absolutely impressed. I like the way that handguard feels. It's, it's beefy, it's round, it's huge, it's long. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go to Boy32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. There is a, just a little bit of wobble in it. And I think you're supposed to take this thing here and you're probably supposed to stick it in there and twist it to make this tighter, which I will do. And we'll get an after action review after we get the rifle put together. Let's go to Boy32. I'm out. And I'm impressed.